any class um, and there are obviously tweaks that you can do but if I show you the general add-ons you need I will link um, or, or I will write in the description what all the add-ons are you can get them most of them off uh, curseforge I should think again I'll put a link to that so starting off with let's go through the actual graphics so you can see here um, I mean I do like to play around gamma I tend to keep it at one uh, I mean if you want it a little bit brighter you can change that maybe 1.3 kind of looks nice um yeah so let's, let's do that. so you can see here my ui scale that's probably the most important thing this is what actually moves this up and down so look, you can see uh and then you know if i click apply it gets bigger if i do that okay it gets smaller i, I tend to like mine quite small so i've got a little bit more room for my uh, chat box um here now every other setting is the same guys like in terms of uh, what you want your FPS and stuff you can honestly have that as whatever you want and then go to interface um, and I then think the next most important thing is action bars make sure you've got all these turned on always show action bars show number of cooldowns that is quite a nice one actually I should have had the ticks uh, then you want to go to raid profile so when I'm in a party because uh, I'm a PvP, -er, I do love um, to have these like this. So, what I would recommend is um, having uh, your use raid style frames, and then you can obviously show debuffs, um, show pets as well, is uh, and and class colors. I do like to have that tick, and then you know you can display the health, health remaining, health percentage, um, health loss. You know you can. That is generally how I like to have mine. Um, then what I tend to uh, do is leave that as it is. Um, names, if I go to names, this is how I have my, um, it's how I have the names. Uh, combat, uh, generally, this is, these are the settings I use here. Display, show, show cloak, show helm. Um, ultimately, quest tracking, uh, social, I have that. Uh, so yeah, these are these are like most of the settings. If there is anything you're unsure of, please do just pause the video. Now, in terms of add-ons that I've actually got, let's actually look at what I'm using so you can actually see. Now, I just want to point out some of these add-ons are installed separately in the classic folder. So the only ones I want you to pay attention to are the ones that I've got ticked. So Atlas Loop, Bag Brother, I, I really... Um, don't need that actually so we can turn that off bag non so this bag non is what allows me to open up all my bags um layer tricks plus an amazing add-on uh, i would not play without this auto ui this makes everything dark omni cc this is again a countdown timer uh you can use this um it's very optional you can use this or you can simply tick the feature um in your interface Plater, this uh, is what shows my enemy's health bar. Um, there's a lot of options at Quartz. This is like a modular cast bar. Questy, this is my um, quest add-on, which shows me everything on the map and sexy map. And then I have weak horrors. That is literally all I've got to make this um, to make this entire UI. So uh, first up, let's go over the map. Like, so how do I get my map like this? So we go to interface add-ons and then go to sexy map we can see literally all the options now what i've got here is i believe i'm using faded square um accept i think it's this one yet so you can see so this is a faded square and i just like it i think it looks good i think it goes with the black around it and that's all i've done now you can obviously you know lock the mini map but sexy map allows you to move it i'll just place it there and then I lock it once it's there so I can't keep moving it. I mean, again, you can rotate the map, but I, I just prefer it um, kind of the way it is. Um, and yet, yeah, I just literally leave it like that. I don't really have anything else. Now, uh, next, if we look at um, how do we make all the bars dark and how do we make, you know, the bag dark and everything. So, first of all, the chat and the bags are separate. You literally, you just need to go to settings and uh, you look at the, sorry, the colors, and you just simply set it to this. So the same as what I've got, same for the bag here. If we bring it all up, click to configure the bag, in bag none, um, color settings, and just honestly set it to, uh, set it to 
what I have mine um, what I have mine on uh, here really uh, color settings I'm sure I've uh, sure I've got this um, blacks I can't remember why oh yeah border color background color so yeah this is where in frame settings okay so next add-on I'm gonna quickly go through is low to UI so really simple um, simple add-on um, it's been brought over into classic so this is what I play with um, I love uh, uh, thick frames here and uh, hide uh, indicator uh, and all this and it just makes it black and you can obviously um, we can do all the other stuff in uh, Latrix Plus. Now Latrix Plus probably uh, the most important add-on here so I'm going to take a bit of time to go through some of the settings. Right, so what I do here is I like to automate the quest normally. Now sometimes this bugs and you will have one NPC with two quests and it will just go to the top quest. So if you do have that then simply turn this off and it will fix it. So social, I have it like that. Chat, I just hide the chat buttons, it looks cleaner. Text, just hide the error messages. Now the interface, this is one. Um, so enhanced dress up, this is nice. Enhanced quest log, enhanced professions, enhanced trainers. Um, and show player chain. Now what this does is this actually adds a little dragon around your portrait. But sometimes this bugs, okay? So it's really important to say now, Normally, this bugs for me every single time. So you can see that it didn't have that before and it was set to that. So I think as this starts to get updated for Wrath of the Lich King, this should be better. Now, again, you can manage buffs, you can manage the focus target, and you can manage frames. I just manage frames from this. And as you can see, it has a really nice grid interface. I play with a PvP style setup. My target's there, my player is there. Um, and if I was to manage my focus target, okay, I would put it underneath here, but that's fine for now. Uh, system, uh, max camera zoom, faster auto loop, um, dismount me, uh, and also look, you can disable the screen glow, like this, disable screen effects. So just dis disable screen glow will um, obviously make everything a little bit darker, which does actually look nice. So I'm gonna leave that. Otherwise, guys, that's everything for uh, Latrix, um, but it just makes everything customizable and just that little bit nicer. So uh, the next thing that I'm going to show you is Weak Horrors. Now, Weak Horrors is a fantastic UI. Um, at the moment, this little combat bar, which is brilliant, so let me show you how it works. So I'll just go and find an enemy, for example, so every time I get combo point, okay, this disappears. And it's just such a brainless way for me to track combat points. You know, this would work as a druid. There's different weak auras. I will put a link to the weak aura um, in the description. Uh, but that's basically it. And then I have a shield which appears at the side like that, um, which is also really, really nice. Um, and there are other... Um, other add-ons uh, that I use uh, but um, I'm not really using them now it's just a rogue one and that so I've again all I've done is I've moved this weak horror and then I've locked it in place um, weak horror is really good really configurable there's a lot you can do with it um, so the next thing um, that I definitely think is worth a mention is plates and nameplates now this for me is probably one of my favorite things so if you look close here, you can see when I'm close, you can see the health bar. Now I have completely customized this. So let me show you the settings that I've actually used. So health bar appearance. Now you can customize everything in this, but I've kept it simple. So again, I've uh, I've gone with like a clean sort of look. Um, that tends to be my uh, sort of just how I like it. So I think everything is just set to clean, clean. And I've set the border thickness to the max. Now you can see, um, Turn that down, turn it up. So if I just show you, so can you see? Now I like that to be like that. Um, and look, you can set that to full, you can set it to high. I think kind of uh, sort of 12, 10 maybe is probably probably where I kind of want it. So maybe like that is yeah, probably something like that. That looks good. Um 
yeah so guys basically this is this is my ui this is um i've made it the, the last worthy mention is obviously questy really simple i've not done anything you can just see where all my quests are on the map and at the moment i'm questing in the uh is it blood mist Isles? i think yeah um and uh final note with mention atmos loot which is just great you can just see where to get every um drops from dungeons crafting from pvp uh yeah so really good um guys if you like this video please do comment like and subscribe um leave any questions in the uh in the comment section and i'll be sure to get back to you thanks for watching